And I know what you see in me You see the truth, see the me in me You see enough to believe in me You see your son, but it's he in me the music I create is organic and, and really purpose-driven and purpose-filled. And I think that's kind of what's defined me as an artist and what's kind of led to my, my evolution in artistry. So when I was 12, my mom got me my first ever rap CD, uh, which was Willennium by Will Smith. And ever since then, I had just been going hard for music and really falling in love with rap. And everyone had their own thing. It was like the athlete or the smart kid or the video game kid. And I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the rapper. That's kind of what, what set me off and, and put me on this path to, to making rap music. Getting stuck as he feet in the mud. You know, when, when I was really young, I think there was a definite dream of climbing to this pinnacle of success and being alongside some of the people that I regarded as the best in, in the industry. You know, being alongside the Dr. Dre's and the 50 Cent's and the, the M&M's, right? I think early on, I kind of visualized that dream and that's where I wanted to be. But as time went on, I understood that the music I needed to make would be music that had a purpose and was driven to inspire change in people's lives. And now when I look at where I want to be and, and who I want to impact and touch, it's really the people that are searching for purpose in their life in a meaningful way and are looking to connect with God on a deeper level. You have been caught in the flood. A lot of times when I'm able to speak with a fan of my music, they don't just say, hey, I love your music, it's great. They usually give me a lengthy response and detail to me how the music's impacted and changed their lives. For me, that's more valuable than any million dollars, any million stream hit that I could possibly search for. It's really about that moment of connection and that moment of life changing uh, that happens. You have been caught in the flood.